Today we're going to take a look at a product called A Sub Blue. So A Sub Blue is a 3D scanning spray that sublimates into the atmosphere over a couple of hours. So the first thing we're looking at here is a time lapse video of where we scanned these two parts, and over the period of a couple of hours, we can see that the spray. Uh, completely sublimates into the atmosphere off of our parts, leaving no real residue, which uh, is great from a cleanup perspective and when we have to deal with products that we want to take back into other processes. The second thing that we're going to do here is we're scanning one side of a part uh, using the A-sub and another side of the part just as a bare aluminum, and then we're going to run a few different tests on this. So uh, the purpose of these tests is to really uh, take a deep dive into what are the pros and cons of using a sub when we're talking about metrology or reverse engineering. Uh, so we created a CAD model and then did a 3D comparison of that CAD model to the scan file. And we're going to take a few different comparison points around our part just randomly on one side and the other and then look at the deviation between those two. Uh, and the deviation number that we come up with is about 18 microns of variation from the A sub side to the aluminum side, which when we look at the specs of A sub, it actually falls outside of what the spec thickness of the uh, spray is, which is 8 to 15 microns. So uh, what exactly is going on here? Well, let's take a little bit of a deeper dive and run a couple more tests to further understand this product. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, create a couple of planes on both sides uh, using a best fit average of the STL mesh on either side of the part. And then from there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run a deviation of those planes to the original CAD plane uh, which will give us a, another value that we can look at. Uh, and this particular value is a deviation of one plane to the other of only four microns, uh, which is considerably less than the 18 microns that we were seeing uh, when we just used comparison points. Uh, now those comparison points were a little random and this particular part is not perfectly flat as it is a uh, machined aluminum part. So what can we gather from this? Well, when we're dealing with a 3D scanning system, uh, the reflectivity of materials can uh, often induce a certain amount of noise into the object that was being scanned. Uh, this noise can be significant or insignificant depending upon the scanning system that we're using. Uh, the one we use in this example is an Artec Space Spider, which does a phenomenal job in dealing with reflective parts. Um, however, just due to the nature of the 3D scanning process, there's always going to be X amount of noise when you're dealing with reflectivity. However, with the A-sub spray, it creates a extremely consistent surface to scan off of. So while we're dealing with that particular thickness, uh, we can see that the quality of the surface is much truer to what the actual part is than the surface that is just bare metal. So let's actually do another 3D comparison to better showcase uh, the quality of the surface that was scanned with A-sub versus just the raw material of our part. And we can clearly see that on the left-hand side, uh, the A-sub scanned surface has a much flatter, much truer definition to what the actual part is uh, versus the raw scan side, which has a lot of different bumps, high spots, low spots, deviations. Uh, and again, this part is machined aluminum, so we know that it's not going to be perfectly flat. Uh, however, with all that being said, uh, we can really start to understand that using this product because it does have a consistent thickness of 8 to 15 microns, which we've done multiple studies in-house to confirm, uh, we can use that as a very reliable number to compare against when using 
the spray for metrology or reverse engineering applications. Uh, so the benefits of using this spray are countless and the cleanup is fantastic. And it's something that if you have not taken a look at already, I would highly recommend picking up a can and using it in your 3D scanning applications.